Now let's go ahead and run through a live example of the summarization feature of the OpenAI API. And I already set up the OpenAI API, AI, um, API key in my environment variables. If you haven't done so already, make sure you reference the translation uh, section and uh, you can walk through the example of how to set that up. Um, I've already done this, so let's go ahead and open up the script to see what we're working with. So if you don't have this downloaded, I attach a downloadable file to this lesson that you can use to follow along. And I'm going to open up Sublime Text, which is my text editor. And I have a similar setup to the translation. I have the API key imported and then a, um, a couple items that we will be using. We won't be using the language in this example, but we will be using the article URL and the num words. In this case, I'm changing the prompt slightly to feed in via a function. And we take the language the article URL and the num words. In this case, we're only using the article URL and the num words. And then we can go ahead and pass that in to the completion API and print out the completion, the first choice, which is the answer to the prompt and um, pass in the number of max tokens that we are using with this API. So we have the same article from the previous section, which is a Barbenheimer movie. And this recently came out and we want to summarize this article into a hundred words. So let's go ahead and try running this and seeing what pops up. And give it a few seconds, it is going to start the request and uh, and then summarize it. So you can see here the new movie released by Barbenheimer, the one is expected to dominate the box office this weekend after a strong opening last weekend. So this is a decent summary. It's slightly incorrect because information gets cut off at the end of 2021. So it doesn't have the most up-to-date information, but we can play around with this by changing the number of words. Let's say we change this to 200 and we can summarize this again. And once we have the response, we can compare it to the first one and try to find an optimal place that we can use to do consistent summaries. So this is another feature, powerful feature of the um, OpenAI API. And we can actually do some more interesting things like see, please summarize this article um, into a different language. Now we are using the language uh, parameter and we can actually change this to be summarized in Spanish. So let's go ahead and run this and give it a few seconds is doing the translation and also summarization. So now you can see that it prints out in around 200 words, but less than the max tokens. We can even play with this even more and then change this to maybe something like Hindi and give it a few seconds to let it do the translation. So you can see that this is a very powerful API and it can do many things with zero shot. Um, we haven't provided any examples. So all of this uh, is zero shot encoding. And if we choose to provide more examples, then we can go into chat completion, which is going to be the next section.